Hello everyone, good morning. Today is 15th of March. My name is Sahil and welcome to the newspaper analysis. So guys, in the today's video, we will be analyzing the entire Hindu newspaper and the explainer PDF that I will be using here, you can download the PDF from the Telegram channel. Now, uh, before moving on guys, uh, first of all, if you are new here, see, first we take the overview of the entire newspaper articles in order to understand that which articles are important for our exam and then we do the detailed analysis of the relevant articles. Some of the one-liner concepts we'll see here only in the overview. Okay, so first of all, before moving on, first let's see the overview of the entire newspaper in order to understand that what articles will be important for our paper. So we start with the Hindu newspaper. In Hindu newspaper, we have this text and the context section that come in online uh, e-paper edition. So first article is talking about the surge in oil and natural gas prices. Now, multiple times this particular article has come in the Hindu newspaper, Indian Express newspaper, even we discussed it. What this article is talking about? This article is talking that the oil prices are increasing. Okay, they are 14 year high. Why? Because of the sanctions that have been imposed on Russia. Russia is the largest exporter of oil and gas, one of the largest exporter. And because the sanctions have been imposed, the supply from the Russia had cut down. And because of that, the oil and natural gas prices have increased. Now, the same dimensions multiple times we have discussed. Then moving on, a closer look at the man portable air defense system. So man pads, what are these man pads? We'll discuss this particular thing and what will be how these man pads have become a kind of a important development in this Russia Ukraine crisis. We'll see this article. Then moving below, we have the article where the keyword Sanskritization has been mentioned. So Sanskritization happens to be a very important topic with respect to the Indian society. So we'll see that what is being talked here. Then moving on, we reach to the main Hindu newspaper, page number one. So the COVID jabs for 12 to 14 age group will start from tomorrow. So which vaccines they will be given? They will be given the Corba Vex. Now the Corba Vex, it has been given earlier the approval for give for that it can be administered into the children. And now we are moving forward with this particular direction. Now guys, you see, you don't need to go too much into this particular detail because by the time your exam will come, such kind of developments that, okay, in which date, which particular age groups vaccine was approved, it will not be making any kind of sense. So not important. In retail inflation climbs to 6.07%. Now we'll see the implication of this particular development. Microfinances firm can fix interest rates. So we'll see that what is the new development that is coming in this particular direction. Fine. Then guys, after that, moving on, uh, uh, some of the political news have been mentioned. Seat selection fees on flights arbitrary, says House Panel. So it has been just said that the people, they, uh, if they are flying on the air, uh, if they are flying on an aircraft, there are some of the mandatory fees that they have to pay if they need to choose a seat for their own selection. Okay. Now this thing is arbitrary, just a kind of a thing is going on. Be beyond that, nothing is important in this particular direction. Then guys, further moving on in this particular thing. So after that, uh, coming to the city section, regional news, etc. has been talked about, political news have been given, not important for our examination. Is it clear? So please ignore all these particular things. Then guys, further moving on in this particular direction. Okay, uh, we go to the editorial page. In the editorial, the first article, Fragmenting World Order United Nations. So we'll see that what has been provided here majorly as the russia ukraine crisis is going on how there are some of the loopholes into the world order that are getting exposed such thing is provided in this article then the wars cold facts and what india needs to glean so guys the russia ukraine the same controversy is going on now every day you will find two three articles on this russia ukraine there will be hundreds of commentaries that will be coming but i had said you very clearly every commentary is not important for our examination no need to go and see everyone the failed uh, uh, troika so the congress uh, the, the congress should introspect that what are the strategic mistakes that it is making because now we see that the congress is losing its sheen very drastically with every coming wave of elections so such kind of thing has been discussed here however with respect to exam nothing is important now a new deal so this is talking about the joint comprehensive plan of action uh, we'll see this particular thing that what what is this particular article 
then assembly polls so guys now uh, from past few days as the election result has been declared there are three four pages which are designated to the assembly polls where they are there they are doing some kind of a political analysis that okay where the how the caste dynamics were exploited and all such kind of things okay how what is the strategy of bjp why the how so, such things are there not important for our examination so please we will be skipping all these particular things then further moving on uh, in this particular direction guys so here we can see first of all the articles that the census should not be just a data oriented house committee okay so, uh, census should uh, also provide that how the social cultural ethos are changing we'll see this particular article what is provided here then 32 new roads along the china border okay post galwan governments gave approval for these projects rajya sabha report so basically guys here we can see that uh, basically uh, in order to boost up the infrastructure all such kind of things are going on government seeks law on right of foreigners okay so basically uh, here guys we see this particular thing that there are the foreigners who are living in india okay now what is the extent of their rights what are the extent that they can approach the judicial remedies so there needs to be such kind of provision okay so however just a kind of a just a kind of a, a requirement has been floated however much of important developments have not come then further moving on um supreme court concerned over fake covid claims okay not very much important however this article is very important maternal mortality ratio declines so registrar general had come out with its new bulletin and very important article so we'll see with respect to our examination after that moving on russia ukraine site uh, progress in talks so let's see in few days where it will be going on okay iran foreign minister heads to moscow for nuclear talks so on nuclear talks there is already one article in editorial so with this we'll see this particular article so maldives uh, lift health emergency mask mandate not important for our paper moving on on the business page okay so merchandise export rose to 25% import now every month how much export import how in uh, okay how much it increased in such numbers we don't need to see february wholesale price inflation quickens to 13.11% so there is already an article on inflation there we'll see this particular thing after that moving on guys the sensex trends etc has been given okay now government seeks nod for extra spending of 1.07 lakh crore rupees okay so such kind of uh, these are the budgetary reestimates that are being given here okay and then we have the sports page okay so this is guys about the overview of the entire newspaper and now let's take all the important and relevant articles one by one in the detail now so as we start our every class with the gs quote so we will be taking the class from today the quote from ravindranath tagore so ravindranath tagore he says i slept i slept and dreamt that life was joy i awoke and saw that life was service i acted and behold service was joy okay so what uh, gurudev rabindranath tagore is trying to say here he said that i slept okay when i was sleeping when i was not very clear in my consciousness when i was not very clear in my awareness i thought that just this life in which we are living it is the joy there is nothing beyond one's own life one's own satiation of material desires nothing beyond is there it is just the ultimate joy then i awoke awakening here means that i rose to a higher level of consciousness okay i i became self enlightened and there i fought i found that no this life is not the joy rather serving the society serving the people service is the joy and when i actually when i actually acted and when i actually performed the service i found that the service was yes truly the joy now guys such kind of an idea we find even into the teachings of other great people also for example gandhi ji what gandhi ji says gandhi ji says that the service is the surest way to rediscover yourself clear so basically the service was ultimately a joy and this happens to be a very important guideline for the civil servant also you can use this particular idea into the ethics paper topic of aptitude topic of aptitude and foundational values now in the foundational value for civil servant the value of a service orientation happens to be a very important value so please note it down now moving on so first of all let's see the mcq answers for yesterday that is the 14th of march so question number 1 correct answer is b question number 2 correct answer is d you can pause the video and can see the explanations okay now taking up the mcqs for today 
clear so guys what you can do you can just pause the video and you can see that what will be the right option okay so guys this particular thing is with respect to the taxation so there are certain of the uh, options that have been given you have to uh, find the correct or incorrect matches okay so please read the question pause the video and mark the correct option moving on consider the following statement with respect to the international space station so iss has been into the news because of the russia's recent warnings that they will not cooperate on iss so please read the statement and identify the right option okay now moving on so first of all taking up the first article now first article we have taken up from the hindu newspaper text and the context section a closer look at the man portable air defense system or man uh, or man pads man pads okay now this particular thing will be uh, can be important with respect to our prelims examination with respect to our prelims examination okay and uh, with respect to the science and technology aspect also this particular thing can be important okay now first of all before going in this particular article let's see the background that why this particular article has come what is the context so the context is this guys that the usa had recently approved that they will be supplying to the ukraine us made stinger missiles now what these stinger missiles are these stinger missiles are the man pads now the man pads stand for the man pads stand for man portable air defense system man portable air defense system so the usa will be supplying it to the ukraine now first of all what these man pads or man portable air defense system are question number 1 is this question number 2 is this that which well this particular decision of usa supplying these stinger missiles to the ukraine will be a good decision or it will be a bad decision so we will see these things now first of all guys what are these man pads you you just see this particular picture in this particular picture we find a soldier he is using a kind of a portable missile now this particular missile is called as man pads and this particular missile is very usable in order to shield against the aircrafts helicopters which are carrying the aerial bombings so uh, as you have seen in the border movie okay so jackie shroff he carried a lot of aerial bombings is it clear so in such um, uh, in when an adversary adversary nation is there and let's say an adversary nation's aircraft is carrying the aerial bombing in order to control that kind of situation these man pads come very handy they can destroy such kind of aircraft such kind of thing is there so when we talk about these man um, pads they are the short range lightweight portable surface to air missiles and they can be fired by individuals or by the small groups to destroy the aircrafts and helicopters now they can even be used atop a ground vehicle they can be fired from a tripod or a stand or a helicopter or a boat so they are a lot of they are having a kind of a multi vectorous use now what will be what will be the potential of these man pads then according to the rand corporation of the us based think tank it has been said that they have a maximum range of 8 kilometers and can engage up to an altitude of 4.5 kilometers okay then it has also the fire and forget guidance system what is this fire and forget guidance system no guys fire and forget means that once a missile has been fired a person has not continuously maneuver this particular thing okay what will be this uh, fire and forget missiles they have now once they have been fired they lo get locked on to the target object suppose you have uh, fired on an aircraft craft so it will automatically be getting locked on that aircraft wherever that aircraft will be going it will follow it you don't have to man maneuver it you don't have to steer it how actually they follow the aircraft automatically because guys they are fitted with the in infrared seekers now what are the infrared seekers let's say you had fired it on an aircraft okay now this aircraft is emitting some heat so that heat will be sensed by the infrared seekers and it will follow it and will destroy it eventually so this is the technology that these man pads are using now these man pads there are the a version of usa it is a stinger missile stinger missile apart from the stinger 
apart from the stinger the russia had also developed it and many countries are actually having the having the different different versions of the stinger missiles it is not something that uniquely just usa is having now guys first of all what i have told you that now they will be supplied to the ukraine so there is one concern that is coming what is the concern concern is this that according to the global organized crime index it has been provided that ukraine is one of the largest arms trafficking market in europe now understand what is the dynamic of this arm trafficking market many a times the strategic weapons have been supplied to certain countries and then after it has been found that they are being used by the non state actors such as the terrorist organization now guys these man pads earlier also have been supplied to the ukraine and from there it got slipped into the hands of some non state actors and in the syria also with the terrorist also such kind of man pads have now been seen in afghanistan even these man pads are being used obviously they don't have the technology to make it at their own from where they are getting they are getting it from the organized arm arm trafficking market and in ukraine there is one of the largest arm trafficking market these weapons they slip in the hands of some other non state actors and from there they go to the terrorist is it clear now guy after the accession of crimea by the russia in 2014 there were large number of weapons that were supplied by the different different countries to the ukraine so that the ukraine can use it against the russia but what happened all these weapons that were supplied to the ukraine they ended up coming into the wrong hands and in multiple cases they have been used by the terrorist organization rebel groups now also these large number of stinger missiles as will will supply to the ukraine there is a possibility that it can hand land up into the hand of isis al qaeda etc so this is something that is needed to be we need to be careful about clear so this is all about it i hope that you have understood it and now we'll be moving to the next article now the second article taken from the hindu text and the context section it is talking about a keyword sanskritization now sanskritization happens to be an important phenomena with respect to our indian society gs paper number 1 gs paper number 1 indian society we will see this particular article what it is talking about now fine first of all guys this word sanskritization you might have heard a lot so this particular word was coined by m n shri nivas an eminent social anthropologist he had used this particular word sanskritization in his book religion and society among the kurgs of south india so in this book he had talked about the sanskritization now what is guys a sanskritization sanskritization refers to a process okay in very simple words we'll understand sanskritization is ref refers to a process where a person in a lower caste will imitate certain practices of a higher caste and by imitating the practice of higher caste the person is expecting to gain an upward social mobility upward social mobility let's understand this guys you know this particular thing that in india there are large number of castes that are there first of all guys varna and caste are not the same thing originally there were the four varnas that is the brahmins kshatriyas vaishyas and shudras and eventually these varnas many of them they got converted into the various caste today thousands of the jatis caste sub jatis are there so guys see when we talk about the caste there are the thousands of the caste group that are there now these caste group are arranged in a kind kind of a hierarchy there are certain caste which are at the upper part of hierarchy certain other caste which are at the lower part of hierarchy now in order to gain the upward mobility what a person will do a person from a lower caste will try to imitate the practices of upper caste for example the upper caste people uh, let's say some people of upper caste they wear a sacred thread we call it as janeu so some of the lower caste people will also start to wear that particular janeu let's say there are certain upper caste people who follow a particular kind of ritual the lower caste people will also start to follow this particular ritual which is being followed by a person of higher caste by this they feel by this they expect that over a period of time they will also come at the upper part of the hierarchy so this is sanskritization so what is sanskritization let's read it formally also it refers to a change in the hierarchical caste system when certain castes that are ranked low in caste hierarchy are able to elevate and enhance their position by adopting and emulating the socio cultural beliefs value habit custom ritual etc now basically when we talk about sanskritization initially it was believed that the low caste people they will adopt the brahminical ways of life 
बट नाउ संस्कृतिजेशन इज नॉट ओनली अडॉप्टिंग द ब्राह्मणिकल वेज ऑफ लाइफ ब्राह्मणिकल वैल्यूज ब्राह्मणिकल रिचुअल्स इट इज ऑल्सो इट हैज बीन सीन दैट इन सर्टेन ऑफ द रीजन पीपल आर अडॉप्टिंग द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ द डोमिनेंट कास्ट ऑल्सो नाउ गाइज डोमिनेंट कास्ट is not always a higher caste a dominant caste is one which ha- holds a lot of economical social and demographic clout in an area is it clear so in some of the areas of up even the yadavs are the dominant caste clear in the areas of punjab the jats are the dominant class now the yadavs are technically are not a higher caste but they are a dominant class caste in some of the regions so dominant caste is one which is having a social economic and demographic clout in an area so guys let's say in an area the yadavs they are a dominant caste and some other caste it is not that dominant what it can do as a part of sanskritization they will adopt the lifestyle the values of yadavs also so now the sanskritization has little bit changed not only a brahmanical thing it is also becoming something else now guys mn shrinivas has provided now understand this particular point it is very important what we understand we understand that the moment a person had ado- had become sanskritized he is adopting the values practices of upper caste automatically his elevation will happen but that is not the case fine basically the elevation okay or higher social sto- status depends on some other factors also what is the economic well being पॉलिटिकल पावर ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर पर्सन एजुकेशन एस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ लिटरेरी हिस्टोरिकल एविडेंस फॉर देयर एफिलिएशन ऑल दीज पर्टिकुलर थिंग्स आर ऑल्सो वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट नो गाइज अंडरस्टैंड दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द संस्कृतिजेशन समटाइम्स इट अलाउज फॉर सोशल मोबिलिटी थ्रू एलिवेशन ओके हाउ एवर इट ओनली मॉडिफाइज द रैंक्स पोजिशन ऑफ कॉम्युनिटीज इन टू द कास्ट हायर आर की बट एट द सेम टाइम द आइडिया ऑफ इन इक्वालिटी स्टेज देयर completely the idea of inequality is not getting removed what happened through sanskritization there is some change that happens some lower caste over the period of 20 40 50 years as they are following a particular practice they might come up into the hierarchy but still the inequality will stay there will still be some caste which will be at the lower part of the hierarchy it will stay guys and therefore the sanskritization is not similar to a uh, anti caste movements they anti caste movements they want to create the casteless society where there is no inequality no is upper no one is lower clear so what is this sanskritization and what this keyword means all this particular thing has been explained in this particular piece of article that we have just discussed and guys if your optional is sociology i will specifically be asking you to uh, note all these particular points that have been used here otherwise in gs1 also it is an important topic now moving to the next article microfinance firms can fix interest clear so this particular article will be important with respect to the gs paper number 3 gs paper number 3 issues related to the indian economy okay now let's discuss this particular article so guys first of all Uh, this is not a very new development since last year 2021 around the month of june and july the reserve bank of india is proposing certain reforms into the microfinance institutions clear and now finally the reform into the microfinance institution has come so first of all before moving in this particular article let's understand very basic thing that what is this microfinance that we are talking about it and then what was the old structure what is the new thing that has come all this thing we are going to understand so guys see this thing there are so many of the people so many of the people who are poor okay who don't have access to the formal banking institutions such as the banks etc and sometimes these poor people they need some money they need some capital now their requirement is not big they will need 50000 rupees 30000 rupees 70000 rupees some small money they need in order to start their business in order to fund their ventures many other reasons could be there clear so how to meet the demand of such people now these people they their demand are less but the number of such people are large lakhs and lakhs of people are there who need small small amount of money as loan now guys traditionally these people depend on to the money lenders these money lenders charge very high interest rate 20% 40% even for a month and there they become exploited 
clear and then guys the sometimes the formal banking institutions also are not able to reach so large number of people clear lakhs and lakhs of people so there is a kind of an arrangement that we had made clear so that they don't need to depend on money lender and sometimes because a bank cannot meet them so there are a kind of a institutions that have been created that is the microfinance institutions now these microfinance institutions these are simply the financial companies these are the non banking financial companies which provide small loans to the people who do not have any access to the banking facilities fine and these non banking financial institution mutual fund companies oh so sorry sorry this uh, micro finance institutions these micro finance institutions they are regulated by the reserve bank of india so there is specifically the nbfc non banking financial company mf uh, non banking financial company micro finance institution direction of 2011 is there which is released by the reserve bank of india and under this 2011 direction they are governed by the reserve bank of india now guys earlier the reserve bank of india was a supervisory body as what interest rate could be charged now there were many of the Uh, 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 obligations under which only they can charge the interest rate from the people now what had happened the reserve bank of india had come out with the two changes reserve bank of india had come out with the two changes with respect to the microfinance institution change number 1 first of all they had changed the definition of a microfinance loan now what is a microfinance loan definition is very important can you call that a 5 lakh rupees loan is a microfinance loan no so the rbi had provided that microfinance loan is that loan which is being given collateral free collateral free is that uh, at the back end there will no gold or no property that will be kept as a security so the microfinance loans are the collateral free loans that are given to the household who are having an annual income of up to 3 lakh rupees up to 3 lakh rupees now earlier what were the limit earlier the limit was this that the mfis will be the loans that will be given to the households which are having the upper limit of 1.25 lakh rupees actually for the rural areas it was 1.2 lakh rupees for the rural areas and it was rupees 2 lakh for the urban areas so different definitions were there now the definitions have been changed only one definition household having 3 lakh rupees annual income any loan that is being given uh, a small loan that is being given to them it will be called as a microfinance loan now earlier these loans the interest rate was regulated now it has been provided that these entities the microfinance institution itself will nominate a board and this particular board will approve the pricing of the loan that can be imposed on them clear so a kind of a liberalization has been brought into the microfinance institutions moreover it has been provided that yes you can decide what interest rate you want to charge but the interest rate cannot be uh, the interest rate cannot be exploitative it needs to be reasonable moreover for the protection of the borrowers it has also been provided that if any fees is being charged fine from the borrower then this particular fees needs to be explicitly disclosed that okay this fees we are going to charge secondly if any penalty is to be imposed on a borrower then guys the penalty should be applied only on to the overdue amount and not on the entire loan amount clear let's suppose that an emi was to be paid a person was not able to pay that emi so such penalty will only be on to that emi's amount and not the entire loan amount after that it has been provided that if there is any change in the interest rate fine then that change is to be informed to the borrower in advance moreover if you are increasing the interest rate it the change can hap- if take in if they take effect only in prospectively it can take effect only prospectively not on the back da- not from the back date you can increase the interest rates so these are some of the reforms with respect to the microfinance institutions that has been brought so that is all about this particular article and now guys we'll be moving to the next article retail inflation climbs to 6.07% you din- don't need to go into this particular detail too much okay every month you uh, retail uh, inflation data you don't need to see but guys see a trend actually is very important here by the way this thing is very important with respect to gs paper number 3 state of indian economy state of indian economy see what had happened now we find that the infl- retail inflation has increased to 6.07% now guys monetary policy committee monetary policy committee that has six members and the reserve bank of india is its chief 
it has been given a mandate that the res the monetary policy committee has to make sure that the inflation in india is between the band of 2 to 6% is between the band of 2 to 6% it should not go beyond the 6% if it goes beyond 6% the monetary policy committee has to take certain steps in order to bring it below the 6% higher limit band that is there right now what we are seeing we are seeing that it has increased the 6% limit and it has gone to 6.07% early guys it has been 6.58 percent also in around the month of the february 2020 now again it is going to increase so guys this particular thing is problematic why because number one already right now in indian economy we find that there is a stagnation going on clear unemployment is very much high stagnation is going on and into this particular stagnation if inflation comes it will hurt people even more because when the prices are increasing and you are not having the job you are not having the income the basic things will become unaffordable so at this point of time increasing inflation is a problematic thing now guys why inflation is increasing there are many reasons for this particular thing number one what happens in india actually into the past few months we find this that the food and fuel prices have increased clear now the fuel prices though uh, particularly the petroleum and diesel they are at a lower level in past few months because of elections that were going on but guys in other areas the inflation has been persistently high and there is even more fear that as the elections have been winded over the crude oil price that has increased that impact will be actually it, it will actually be transferred onto the people clear moreover it has been provided that uh, because of the food inflation is also increasing the impact onto the people is coming now at this point of time what india needs to do india needs to control the inflation india needs to control the inflation but if it control the in if but for controlling the inflation what it has to do it has to reduce the supply of the money in economy it has to reduce the supply of money in the economy now if the supply of money will be reduced what will happen whatever the growth will is coming whatever the growth is coming that growth will also get compromised now the reserve bank of india is in a dilemma whether it should focus on growth or whether it should focus on inflation if it wants to focus on inflation the money supply is to be reduced but if it wants to focus on growth the money supply needs to be kept intact so that the cheap money is there into the economy people take that particular money and start their business so in order to maintain the growth high money supply is needed to be maintained but in order to control the inflation money supply needs to be reduced so what is the rbi going to do clear now up till now the rbi had said that for us the growth is important and because the growth is important they have not taken any of the harsh measures to control the inflation but can this thing continue for a long period of time clear and eventually if this inflation continuously it will be high it will impact the common people so this is a kind of a problem in which the reserve bank of india is there so let's see what the monetary policy committee says on this particular thing and then we'll see it okay so that is all about this particular article you don't need to go and see okay at which month inflation was at which particular rate in basically what is the impact that is coming on indian economy this is something that you need to understand so that is all about it and now we'll move to the next article a new deal okay so this article we have taken from the hindu newspaper and this article will be important with respect to the gs paper number two international affairs gs2 international affairs now see this particular article guys it is talking about the joint comprehensive plan of action joint comprehensive plan of action so first of all bef before going in this article what has happened now we will be seeing the background first in order to understand first of all we'll see the background so guys the background goes like this that the iran iran it started it started its uranium enrichment program it started its uranium enrichment program now see this particular thing guys when we talk about the uranium uranium it is radioactive material and it has the dual use it can be used for the generation of electricity it can be used for creating the nuclear weapons nuclear bombs now one usage is good if you you are using it for electricity energy good but if you are using it for nuclear weapon it is something immoral now guys what now if you want to use uranium for making of a bomb you have to enrich the uranium now the naturally the uranium which is being found you have to enrich it in order to make it war grade 
in order to make it war grade now there is a process of uranium enrichment there is a process of uranium enrichment in which the centrifuges are used centrifuges are used now guys iran was using these centrifuge and is going and actually iran was increasing the was basically was enriching the uranium and the world countries were saying that iran is enriching the uranium by using the centrifuge because it wants to convert the uranium into the war grade uranium iran said that no we don't want to create our uranium into a develop our uranium into a war grade we are just for the scientific purpose enriching it now this particular thing became very much problematic it became a bone of contention and what happened after uh, 2012 and 13 onwards the world countries they came together and they said that no iran is to be controlled and in 2015 finally in 2015 an agreement was signed which was called as the jcpoa it stands for joint comprehensive plan of action now in this joint comprehensive plan of action a deal was signed between iran between iran and p5 plus 1 countries now what are these p5 plus 1 countries it is china france germany russia united kingdom and united states so under this jcpoa it was provided that the iran will immediately restrict its uranium enrichment program it will restrict its uranium enrichment program immediately and there will be an inspection regime that will be imposed on to the iran clear under this particular thing under ieae also the iran needs to open up its facility that it is not going for further enrichment okay fine if this particular thing will be done by the iran what will happen the economic sanctions that were imposed on to the iran they will be lifted up Iran's oil can enter into the international market Iran's gas can enter into the international market okay so economic sanctions will be reduced this deal got signed in 2015 Iran said that okay we will open all our facility for international inspection we will not do ira uranium enrichment things were going good but what happened the Donald Trump became the president and Donald Trump withdrew from this joint comprehensive plan of action he said that this is a horrible one sided deal and it withdrew from the joint comprehensive plan of action after this particular uss withdrawal everything became um uh, all the progress that was done it was virtually reversed fine what happened the iran again started to enrich their uranium okay it was it started to achieve the higher purity and now it has been said that just in a few months Ir iran will have enough of the high purity uranium and it will make a nuclear bomb clear so now again there is a demand in the entire world that the iran is to be stopped now guys as of now presently there is again the new round of round of talks that are going on which are called as the vienna talks now what these vienna talks are these vienna talks are to again bring back the jcpoa joint comprehensive plan of action or the iran nuclear deal again to bring it back this new negotiation is going on clear now guys as this particular new negotiation or the vienna talks is going on to bring again jcpoa under uh, the inspection regime russia actually is a very important player in all this thing russia is a very important player first of all what is the role of russia now guys russia number 1 under the original agreement of 2015 russia was given a specific task number 1 russia was required to take control of iran's excess enriched uranium fine and it also it was expected to turn the frodo foldo nuclear power plant into a research facility now see this foldo nuclear plant was one where a lot of uranium enrichment was being done so russia was given a responsibility that okay you do how this foldo is to be converted into a research facility and whatever the uranium was enriched how to how to uh, how to basically manage it okay how to dispose it okay and how to make sure that further inspection is uh, further surveillance is maintained on iran you see how we will do all this particular thing so this is this was the responsibility on to the russia moreover when we talk about the iran russia has been a good friend of the iran is it clear now what is the scene the scene is this that the same time the jcpoa is being negotiated at this time there is also the russia ukraine war that is going on and as a part of the russia ukraine war large number of sanctions have been imposed on to the russia 
and because of the sanctions that have been imposed onto the Russia, what has happened? The Russia has become little bit frustrated, and Russia says that we will not be cooperating into this particular Vienna talks if you don't give us a waiver. What waiver Russia wants? Russia says that. I will only be participating in this particular talks if you assure that whatever the trade deals or whatever the ex whatever the uh, economic relations are there between the Russia and Iran, they will not get they will not be getting impacted in any way. So the sanctions that are there, which are being imposed onto the Russia, they will not be extended. The sanctions will not be expended when the Russia Iran relations are there. They want these sanctions are to be removed. So this is something that is going on. Now, guys, how this particular thing will further be materializing? This is something that we need to see. Is it clear? Now, West will not be getting agree that no, Russia should not impose a sanction. They will not agree on this particular thing. But Russia wants that if you want us, our cooperation, bring us in our deal. And see, basically, technically, it is possible that they can include exclude the Russia. Whatever the Russia was doing, the same task can be given to the another country. So technically, it is possible to exclude Russia. But actually, you cannot exclude Russia because then what will happen? The Iran will get irritated. Iran will take, uh, will use it as an excuse. So this is something that is going on. A messy situation has developed. So that is all about this particular article, guys. And now we'll move to the next article. Now, fragment, uh, fragmenting world order, United Nations. This particular article, guys, have been taken from the Hindu newspaper. And this particular article is talking about this Russia-Ukraine crisis as it is going on. How it has exposed that the world order is not very intact. How the global world order is failing. How the United Nations system has failed. This is something that this article is talking about. Now, let's read this particular article. So basically, guys, what happened? Uh, over the Ukraine, over the Ukraine, Russia announced the invasion. Russia announced the invasion. Now, this thing happened at the same time when the Russian envoy in the United Nations was presiding in the United Nations Security Council. So, at one hand, UN, the Russia is presiding over UNSC. On another hand, the Russia is attacking some another country. So, the UN UN system was there to uphold the international international peace. But what happened? It was not upheld. It was a failure of the United Nations. Second thing, guys, is that basically what had happened, the Russia has invaded over the Ukraine and it had taken the control over the Chernobyl nuclear plant. Now, the Russia's recklessness has been observed. Clear. Russia is not maintaining the sensitivity as it should maintain while taking over the nuclear power plant. Now, the Chernobyl disaster of 1986 is the worst disaster, nuclear disaster that we have seen into the history. So, the Russia is recklessly uh, invading the in Ukraine and the strategic assets such as the Chernobyl, okay, they are not being safeguarded. Clear. It can become a challenge to the global nuclear order into the coming times. See, what had happened as the Russia started to invade Ukraine? Okay. What happened as Russia started to invade the Ukraine? Just a minute. Okay. So as Russia started to invade the Ukraine, what had happened? Economic sanctions were imposed on the uh, by the US, the UK, the European Union. The economic sanctions were imposed by the US, UK and European Union. Now guys, but these sanctions are not even complete. What have happened? The selective sanctions have been imposed. Okay, some of the biggest banks of the Russia such as the Spare Bank and the Gazprom Bank. Okay, on them no sanctions were imposed. Is it clear? So why these sanctions were not imposed? Okay, or why on some companies sanctions were not imposed? It is because they did not want it to avoid the they did not want it to disrupt the oil and gas from the russia which is very important so even the sanctions are not complete clear after that what had happened from on the russia it has been banned from the swift network already we have discussed what is this swift swift is a secure messaging platform that is used by the banks in order to authenticate the transactions so from the swift the russia has been removed now because of that the russia's banks cannot integrate with the foreign banks russia it uh, in, in the russia uh, uh, they have said that the MasterCards, the MasterCard, the Visa, American Express, from PayPal also they have been removed. McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, they will not operate in Russia. So such kind of sanctions are being imposed. Now it is actually going against the World Trade Organization's 
free order that has been created what the wto says wto says that in, in no way the trade should get impacted but now what has happened the organizations the private organizations such as the mcdonald coca cola pepsi they are not being allowed to do business there so it goes against the principle of wto after that guys understand this particular thing that economic cancel culture is being followed by the west west says that you cannot use the banking channels you will not trade in dollars and all such kind of things what had happened russia had already found some alternative ways for example the s400 missile deal that the russia is having with the india what had happened we have said that okay we will not use the dollar the rupee ruble mechanism has been used here is it clear why under the what is the rupee ruble mechanism okay the payments can be made under the rupee moreover as from the mastercard visa american express the russia has been imposed now russian banks can use the chinese union pay for all the online transactions so what had happened now usa by imposing the sanctions what is usa doing usa is actually creating a kind of an alternative order usa creating an alternative order which will be different from the dollar what will happen china will get an opportunity russia will get an opportunity they will make a kind of an entire mechanism which is not dependent on to the dollar clear now moreover it has been provided by the countries that they don't want to isolate russia in such a way that the russian citizens get impacted the us is saying that we don't have a quarrel with the russian citizens but we have a quarrel with the leadership but actually whatever is being done with the russia it is not impacting the leadership it is impacting the people when the sanctions are being imposed when the air space is closed okay when the flights operating with russia have been cancelled who, who will it get impacted the citizens will get impacted so this is something that has been provided in this particular article so that is all guys about it and now we'll move to the next article <coughs> maternal mortality rate declines by 10 points registrar journal okay now first of all what is the mmr what is the mmr okay and but before that guys this particular article will be important for our gs paper number 2 social justice gs paper number 2 social justice now first of all maternal mortality rate now guys there are the women they are the women who conceive a child but while delivering a child while delivering a child many of the mothers they die during their pregnancy or during their delivery of the child so the number of mothers dying per lakh mothers of the numbers of women dying per lakh while delivering a child this particular number is calculated into the maternal mortality rate so maternal mortality rate means that how many of the mothers per lakh are dying while delivering a child again i'll repeat maternal mortality rate means that per lakh per 1 lakh how many mothers are dying while delivering a child now india's mmr has been very much high over the years and a high mmr shows the low social economic standards of that country it shows the poor health standards of that particular country clear because many a times a mother die because of some infections that are there and these infections are because of some very small reasons the clean water was not there clear the sanitized equipments were not there antibiotics were not given and such kind of things the many of the mothers are dying now guys what had happened uh, first of all let's see what actually has been the mmr of india so india's mmr was around was around 130 in 2014 and 60 per 1 lakh mothers who were delivering the child one and 130 mothers they were dying in this particular period it got improved it became 122 in 2015 and 70 so from 130 to 122 then it further reduced to 113 in 2016 and 18 and now the mmr has gone to 103 now in 2017 and 19 and this particular new number that our mmr has increased reduced to 2 to 103 this particular data has been released who had released this particular data this data has been released by the registrar general of india now registrar general of india is under the ministry of home affairs it is under the ministry of home affairs so what has happened the registrar general of india has come out with a special bulletin and under this special bulletin it has said that the maternal mortality ratio declines by 10 points how it declines by 10 points you see this particular thing earlier it was 113 and now it has reduced from 113 to 103 so it is an improvement that has happened now guys because of this particular improvement we are going very much near to the target of the national health policy now the national health policy provided that we need to reach the mark of 100 mmr clear by 2020 
now we have reached to 103 by 2022 so we are nearing this particular 100 every 1 lakh mothers who are delivering the child only maximum 100 should 100 uh, can die and then we further need to reduce it so we are about to reach the target of the national health policy moreover we are also further towards reaching the target that was that that was actually uh, imposed by the sustainable developmental goals so what is the sdg's target sdg target is to go 70 by 2030 70 by 2030 we have reached to 103 so we have to do a little bit more reduction and seeing the progress over the years that have happened it looks that we will be able to reach the sdg target of 70 also now guys there have been certain states which have already reached the sdg target that is below 70 these are the seven states who had already met the sdg target number one kerala kerala has the 30 mmr of 30 very good then the Maharashtra has a MMR of 38, Telangana has 56, Tamil Nadu 58, Andhra Pradesh 58, Jharkhand 61 and Gujarat 70. So these 7 states have already reached the SDG target. Now we need to make sure that this particular thing should go even less. Fine, no mother should die while delivering a child. Is it clear? So we need to do, do some serious improvement. However, already the change is positive so this is something that is there you can use this particular data in your answers now moving to the next article okay census should not be just data oriented house committee now much much thing is not there in this particular article so guys see basically since 1881 we are holding the synchronized census every 10 years last census that came was in 2011 and now the census was expected in 2021 but because of the pandemic the census exercise was not able to be conducted and now the census exercise will begin and coming uh, uh, next or next next year we can have our census data now what had happened the parliamentary committee on home affairs Fine. Uh, the Parliamentary Committee on Home Affairs have said that the exercise of census should not just be the data oriented exercise where just you are telling that okay how much population, how much literacy rate, how many mothers or how many female are literate, how many male are literate, how many disabled are there. No. The census should be conducted in such a way that it should tell more about the changing social profiles, changing cultural profiles and how this particular thing will be done. This thing will be done by redefining the questions that are being asked. So already there is a questionnaire that is there, a standard questionnaire that is there. Now these standard questionnaire is just about calculating the factual information. Is it clear that how many children are there in your house, okay, what, uh, how many females are there but this data is not something that is needed we need to have the socio-cultural profiles of the uh, socio-cultural um, uh, themes okay that how india is evolving how india is changing so just that kind of proposal has been made apart from this nothing more is there in this particular article now guys, this 2021 census that we will have it was it will be the first digital census that is going to be there clear so this is all about it fine so that is uh, in this which, which was what was there in this particular article so guys with this we come to an end to the today's newspaper analysis if you have liked the video guys please do hit the like button so that is all for today thank you so much